I'm limiting myself to just 8 hours. So let's get the clock started, open the new project and it starts with me making the best background you ever seen. And it's this beautiful grey color. To make the game more exciting, I decided to add a sphere. No, 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 no. Let's make it a bowl. There you go. That looks much better. Adding ground seems like the most logical thing to do the next. At this point, I felt warmth deep inside. So I decided to make the background a little bit warmer. Wow, I'm halfway done with the game already. Now when you add bowl and ground together, you get a bounce. Not a bounce we're looking for, let's try again. There you go. Now that's the bounce we're looking for. Now if you build and publish this game right now, you're gonna get millions of downloads. But I want to make this game fun. So the first thing, I went outside to get a better background image for my game. And I stumbled upon a sunrise. 20 minutes later, I remembered that I'm here for a background image. So I took some pictures and went back home. Opened up Photoshop and I made this image into a background that looks like this. Put it in the game and now we have a background image that isn't one color. Nice. Now it's time to add an enemy. You know what this enemy reminds me of? Yep, you guessed it. That subscribe button that you haven't clicked yet. So click on that subscribe button and neutralize the enemy. To create the game logic, I didn't feel like writing code. So I went with Bolt, Unity's visual scripting option. I added a whole bunch of nodes, made some unknown connections and now we have a moving platform. What's the better way of showing that the player got killed if not by using particle burst? I think once can be enough. Sticking with the topic of visual effects, I decided to make a splash effect once the ball hits the platform. So I got out a piece of paper and some paint and made some drops. One of these should work for the effect that I'm looking for. Listen to this. This is the sound of a physical world connecting with a digital world. Out of all those drops, I chose the best one, did some Photoshop on it, put it in the game, of course added some particles effect to it, and voila, we have more visual effects in our game. Now that ball looks kind of stiff, we need to get more life into it. So what's the better way of doing it than adding some animation? Speed it up a little bit, and that will do for now. Do you hear anything? That means we need to make some sound effects now. So I got a plate, a paper towel and some water and I recorded some splashing sounds. Chose one of those splashing sound for my game and now we have a sound effect. Now this game needs a cylinder for a platform, not the cube that we have right now. So I opened up Blender, created a cylinder, broke it up into little pieces, put it into the game and it turned out huge. But that's not a problem, we can always scale him down. I added a cylinder in the middle to connect the platforms together, got him to rotate with the mouse movement, with an extra feature of the ball going through the center in this joggling motion. Added another platform at the bottom, and everything works perfectly now. Whoops, you weren't supposed to see this part. I just had to remove those platforms once the ball passed through. So I added that in and at this point I'm already halfway through my 8 hours. And I still have to make a way to win the level and then create different parts or platforms that I can use throughout that level. Currently there is only one part and some of those parts need to actually include the enemy. Then I have to create a way to make those levels. So there's lots more work that needs to be done here. But to not bore you. I'll only show the exciting parts and leave out the boring stuff. Good thing you don't have to make this game for another 4 hours. First thing, I made its center cylinder look thick. And then I started to make different parts. So I made this one, and this one, and also this one. Of course I made this one. Now that I have some more parts, I'm ready to make 100 levels. Oh yes, let's start with level 1. So for this one... Right. That's a smart idea when you're trying to create a game in 8 hours. So instead I went the faster route. I just made the levels to be generated randomly. At this point I still needed to get the camera to follow the player. But before I do that, let's record a crazy sound effect. That was it. Now let's add it to the game. And we have a perfectly working sound effect. Most of the time. 
I worked really hard and got the camera to follow the ball. And it was time to add parts with enemies. So I made couple flat ones and couple with red cheese on top. So now you have a way to lose in the game. I quickly added a progress bar, showing your current level and your completion percent. To complete the game loop, I had the ability of completing a level and restarting a level if you lost. Now, with two hours left, I had an important decision to make. Do I continue adding new features into the game or spend the time polishing the ones that I have already? And I decided to go and do the boring part, polishing it up. So for the next two hours, I didn't add any features. Whoa, level 20. I guess someone's spending a lot of time playing the game instead of adding new features. Nah, I didn't play it for two hours, just one hour and was for testing purposes. But in those two hours, I polished the ball animation to sync up correctly with the triggers, tweak that and this, and basically this is the final result of the eight hours. Sadly, those wonderful eight hours are all gone. But one thing that I was looking forward to was to compare my version of the game with the version that is published on the App Store. And at last, I can do that. I did make the game with two color palettes. They look a little bit different color-wise, but they're the same game. So here's the comparison. Let me know what you think, which one you like better. If there is anything that you like about my version of the game, let me know that in the comments. Subscribe to my channel because I'll be making more great videos. Now that you've done all that and you're still here, you probably want to hear what I got to say about the results. So not a biased opinion at all. It's not like I made this game, but I like my game much better. The ball animation is just beautiful. And the sound effect, well, it's work of art. Now, could I have made this game better somehow? Or could anyone make the game better? No, I think the game is at its maximum right now. And there's nothing that you can prove that's gonna make it better. Actually, there's a lot of improvements and work that can be done with the game. But since I don't have plans for publishing this, there is no point of continue improving the game and adding more features. So the challenge was success. I learned a lot of things. I was able to achieve a playable game in 8 hours. Now editing the video took a lot more time than that. I already put in 30 hours in this video and I'm still not done. So click on that like button, subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. And yes, I'll leave you with the best part.